passed away shortly before graduation. And uh, we've been really wondering what's something we can do to, to honor Warren's memory. Um, and his uncle, Dave Rose, was at the radio station one, one day and he said, I'd like to donate some money to do something in honor of Warren. What do you think we could do? And we talked around a little bit and we came up with the idea, well, Warren loved music and he loved broadcasting. So wouldn't it be a great thing to remember Warren by establishing a scholarship for a student from Pecos County High School in memory of Warren for a student that wanted to study music or broadcasting or related fields. And Dave said, that's great. He made a nice donation to start the thing up. And uh, I was in Lewisburg about a week later talking to Patrick O'Flaherty at the Irish pub. Patrick had been on Warren's show a couple of times and really enjoyed being with him. And, and Patrick said, well, what's, what's going on to help raise money for this scholarship? When I told him about the scholarship. Yeah. I said, well, we, we don't really know yet. He said, well, why don't you have a benefit concert? He said, and I'll play. <laughs> so Patrick is the reason that we're all here tonight. Um, and uh, we're really happy that you came and happy that so many of Warren's school, schoolmates are here, too. It's, it's a younger than average audience here at the Opera House tonight. And this first group is made up of fellows that he went to school with. Wyatt and Jake and Nick were all, all his friends, and they're coming here tonight to play for you and any more of his family. So, fellas, you ready? Here they come. All right. While he gets their mic set for him, uh, what you want to sing on this one here? Oh, we the bill. I've known two of these guys for quite a few years. Uh, Wyatt and I started out uh, in Stony Bottom together when he was about five years old. I'd get him down to the house and he'd tell me all kinds of things about his parents he wasn't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> and we've had a lot of fun. Swimming in the, in the whole river, in the river, the whole water in the river behind my house a lot when he had all his brothers and sisters and we had a lot of fun. And then I met uh, Jake in Allegheny Echoes, and he's a product of Allegheny Echoes. I always like to plug that, and uh, he does a great job. And they only introduce his friend over. I don't know him too well, but here they are. Jake, uh, Wyatt Turner, give it to him, man. Thank you, guys. We're gonna try to do one song, you guys. As I said, I got a little bit of a frog in my throat. I went to Ohio here this past week, stayed a week, and I come back with this. So. Don't be surprised to hear me squeal and pop in the whole nine yards when I sing this song. But uh, we're going to do you a real pretty new song by a man named Matt Kennan. It's called The Call. Today was going to be the day he already wrote the note. Parked in Chevrolet at the end of the day. Put his finger on the trigger. He's about to end everything. As he took one last long breath, and he heard his cell phone ring. And his best friend said, Man, where you been? Head down to the lake this weekend. You better not miss him, his buddy. I swear it won't be the same. If you ain't there. So much you were coming along and her eyes lit up. I better let you go. I really hope I didn't catch you in the middle of anything. He said you kind of did, but I don't mind it all. I'm glad you called. In a town just down the road. In the backseat of the car Two 18-year-olds And little kids go too far He said, how we gonna have this child? We were both headed off the school He convinced her late one night There's only one thing to do 
Oh, 